Okay, well, let's go in the future. Might as well show everybody. Yeah. Might as well say hello <laughs> to the little goat. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. I left it on the horns. Ah! Kathy. Don't <laughs> traumatize me today. Goat re reflexes. <laughs> You're on my foot. Okay. So. He's like, I don't care. David finally evicted the goats. <laughs> and said, I don't care what you guys do, but you're taking these goats. So Melanie and Gary went and picked them up. We don't have a spot for them yet. No. We do not have a spot available. No, but we'll start thinking, I guess. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, this is the male right here. Right, Wyatt? Wyatt yeah. had to take him for a walk. I love his horns. <laughs> Nothing we can do to change You guys though. seen this goat a bunch? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure all of the goats. I love, I love how weird that is. Didn't he have another one too? <coughs> yeah, they just had a um, another baby, and that's going to go to DD5, and they named that one Cinnamon. Okay. So it's a smaller than these ones, but it's it looks similar. Same yeah. mom. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard you have another one. Yeah, they got one more. So I guess, guys, we're going to have to build a goat pen somewhere soon. I was going to use that dog run, as you guys know for a dog slash goat pen. I don't know if the dogs would be... I don't know how they're gonna do around. I think Mora would be good. Mora would be fine. Jaina doesn't care. She's over here. She doesn't even care. She's like, eh, whatever, they're goats. I don't care. Ghost, I have no idea. I'm sure he would be fine too. The only one... weird looking dogs. Yeah, the only one I'd be kind of worried about would be Bruce, but I don't think he would attack. I think he'd chase. Yeah. If anything, I would think he'd be doing that. Is that the humongous one that looks like a firefighter dog? Yep. Yep. Firefighter dog. I'm licking my hand if I go over there. Yep, the yep. blue tick. So, but yesterday, guys, we didn't really update too much on Miss Lillian, as you guys know. Yeah, she's doing good. Uh, we took her to the vet on Monday, and uh, our vet looked at her, and all her vitals are good. Her heart rate's good, breathing normal. Um, only time's gonna tell as far as how her brain's gonna come back, but I will say, um, what, she's been home now for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? So she's been home for like four days now. Yeah. Yeah, today's day number four. Um, she's come a long way, so even in those four days. She does wander around and she's pretty good about walking on the leash. You know, she's just slow. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. The way I say is Lillian is now acting like like she's an old dog. Yeah. If that makes sense. A dog that's like 15 years old or they're just slow, they don't move fast. So you might stare at the wall after they're done eating for a little bit and then like, oh, okay, I'm done eating and then go loaf on the couch. And that's really what she's doing. Yeah. But it is nice to know that the vet in town as what Roxanne just said, to know that everything physically is, is okay. Yeah, yeah. As far as he could tell, but, you know, he can't check on her brain to see what she's doing, you know, upstairs kind of thing, thought process-wise. But she's, she is doing a lot better as the days go by, I would say. Yeah, I'd say today, well, yesterday for sure, um, she was way more alert yesterday. And then today she's, she's pretty alert, you know, walking around. She's been following me a little bit. Yeah. Here and there, you know, from the kitchen to the bathroom or, you know. Yeah. So. Well, we'll you know, we'll just have to see. If she's, uh, the new normal is just being slow, then that's the new normal. Not a big deal. But I didn't even know all these kids were over here until I walked around the corner and seen two goats and, you know, five kids. I was like, uh, okay. And spiders. And dogs, and I guess Luna's hop on the fence, you said now, right? Yeah. Uh, just this, it yeah, literally just started lying. like 15 minutes ago, right before we walked on the field trip over here. Uh, Luna hopped the fence and we put her back in. There's a little hole. And then all of a That's sudden, hot. like right when we got up over here, all of a sudden Luna came up over the hill. So uh, obviously she's hopping it now. Well, I think there's hey. a hole in the fence hey. next hey. to the, the gate over here. No. There's a hole in the fence right there, but Mr. Gary's fixing it. Uh, I think. Well, maybe she's not hopping. You hear Serenity? He said that there's a hole. There's a hole. So maybe yeah. she's weak. Well, she I think, I think she sees the goats and she feels compelled to follow the goats around because she's actually doing really good with these goats. 
Recently, no. Why, why? Here, get these goats off the... Yeah, yeah, they're going to poop and pee on Yeah, get them off of my the deck. deck. Kids. Off the deck. Come on. Okay, grab Kathy. I can't move. You can just walk them, Abby. Don't they carry. It's a heavy goat. Um, yeah. I know, she's but... stubborn. Hey, can you move? <laughs> get it off, baby. Like, yeah. That's why you need to train her to walk. Yeah, what? and remember how careful I told you them. put her down all the way on the floor? Put her down. I'm just saying careful. And that's if what, you want her that's to what they said to do. Grab her. As in case she lay here moving. as you can. If you keep no. her head yeah, up, you <laughs> no, see, keep her fine. head up and you guide her, she'll go more than if she has her head down. If she has her head down, then she's being stubborn. She's like, so, no, I'm not I guess that answers a question a lot of you guys had in the recent couple videos. I've seen not a lot, but a couple. Like, I thought you guys were getting goats. Well, they're here. But Melanie and Gary are going to take care of them. They have a spot for them for right now. Yep. So we're going to have to figure something out. We'll get something going for them eventually hey and let, let me just make it i clear just don't right know when too, to everybody i don't know when there's zero rush or pressure on anthony and roxanne for the when they can see them every day over there we're gonna take them back and forth and do the lawn mowering the barn is plenty big enough so there's zero pressure don't apply any pressure on when they are good well david was the one that said that he would hold on to the goats as long as i needed he yeah. did say that and then he backtracked on his uh agreement david so don't let him fool you and poor david got all these goats and i said i'd take him and i didn't uh-uh he he uh he backtracked so don't let him fool you yeah he pulled it fast yeah don't let david pull you uh, fool you like i gotta get rid of these don't goats get over here. I will they say, need to pick up their goats i will say that getting up yesterday was all me that was all my fault because Yesterday, we were, we're, we're ready for him, honestly. Now. Like, there's nothing else that we could Unless really do, like, to be more ready for them. Yeah. I guess we could wait until I we like have the full home. exterior pen and stuff built, but go that's going to take a lot of time and energy, and Gary and I really want to focus sure our time and energy home. on the deck thing, right? So okay. I was the one that was like, I'm going to get them tomorrow. He said by the end of this week, well, and I was I'm just like, no. I want to go get them. <laughs> I'm excited to have them. <laughs> no, they're cool. Goats from, at least from what David has said, and don't quote me 100%, but goats are fairly easy to have. They just, they need shelter, obviously. You know, they need like a lean-to. They need somewhere to go and sleep. Um... If they're yard goats and they run around, right, they usually stay close by, but we're not going to let them do that because obviously we don't want them eating stuff we don't want them to eat, like these flowers and, you know what I mean? We don't want them to eat certain things, so they're going to have to be on a lead or on a caged area somewhere. Like I said, we don't have nowhere. I don't want to throw that goat in with the dogs right away because um, I don't know how the dog's going to react with it. It's good to have a dog or a dog with the with the goats and stuff. Oh know, yeah. You know, to at nighttime, you yeah, know, for predators and stuff. No, I'm not happy. But we'll see. I think more if anything would be the guard dog, quite honestly, out of all of our dogs. I think it would be Mora. Yeah. Of all of them. I could see her out there playing with the goats and stuff. Oh yeah. I say that, you know. Yeah, we don't have a name for our goat yet, the male. And like I said, I, I know you guys seen him a lot before, but this guy right here. Come here. Maybe they haven't. You know? Maybe not. Maybe they haven't. Well, if you guys watch David's videos, come here. And you know that goat. There he is. Look, he's already stubborn. He always gets out. They're all stubborn. I know. They're goats. They all they goats. Get, they have well, goats coming. Well, and they're, and they're at brand new territory, so they don't know what's going on. Yeah. They're like, hey, wait a minute. His horns is not stuck. Yeah, they're used yeah. to being around a whole herd of goats, and now they're around a whole herd of kids. Yeah. Well, yeah well, <laughs> It, you should, know. it should feel the same. No. <laughs> you know, it should I be the bad. same. Right now it's got still I know, I haven't heard him yet. They're you probably very... Bad. 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 <laughs> you haven't heard him yet? No, I've heard him. Not oh. here. I'm talking about here right now, today. They haven't made any noise yet. No, not since they've been here yet. Oh. Up here. They're just freaked out. Now they They'll be all right. Bad. 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 They will be all right. We're all we're driving all and all of you hear bad, 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 bad. Oh, yeah. Bad. So, we weren't, we weren't like, yeah, let's go get him yesterday, like Melanie said, they went and got him. She told me, she told me she was going to go get him, and I already started, had the brain working, like, all right, where are we going to put our goat for now? But it's probably better for now, you know, goats need to be around other goats. 
I mean, they need a friend. A, a dog would be fine too, but for now, it's probably better that they stay together for a little bit till we can get it done. That way they feel comfortable while they're here, and then eventually we'll move um, him over on this side. We shall see though. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Just because when the bike... Yeah, Lillian. Lillian oh, still got her spunk. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, she's drive, got, she's so got that, spunk that, when it comes that, to yeah, Jaina and stuff yeah, messing with her. She bike, don't... It was Luna. Luna went over and said hi to her, and she was all, not today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. so that's probably why she's getting better, though, guys. I know a lot of you guys, um, majority of you guys, it's okay. Sorry, more, majority of you guys are like, what's, you know, they want to know what's going on with Lillian. But she is doing better. I know we already said that, but... We're just very happy she is alive and doing well physically, and she's back home, as you guys know. Um, it's just it's a such a stress relief to have her back here. We were so stressed, and we got more and more animals just every day. More and more come every day. Sorry. More and more, and I'm about to have in a week like hopefully like 30 more chickens hatching in a week i'm gonna have some more babies going out of the rabbits i know i got 13 rabbits right now 13 yeah yeah sounds like a, a big uh, freezer day yeah well yeah. we got ones that are ready i got 13 total the big ones are ready yeah the big ones are ready Little ones are the little ones are not ready yet. I've got two that are ready, so when but I gotta process those guys because I need, you know, looking at like everything that's lined up or not lined up, like my cages and stuff I have here for like the grow outs and stuff. Right now they're both taken up, and I think I'm gonna make sure one is always empty just in case. Like for example, when I incubated those uh, chicks for DD5, out of the whole. 30 eggs that I incubated, only three hatched. And I know why I asked Bobblehead about this before I started. Um, but I had the incubator outside on the table, <clears throat> on the porch. And I was checking the temperature and it would fluctuate. And I think it fluctuated too much. Like it'd go down to like 95 and then I'd be like, oh no, and I'd bring it back up to 100. Then I'd go back in there or go back over there and it would be like 104 and that's way too hot. So I bring it back down and I was doing that consistently every day and then I was hand turning the eggs, right? I'm surprised three made it. According to Jeff too, he's like, man, I'm surprised any hatched. So this last go around in the incubator, there's 36 eggs and they've been inside the house the entire time. I also have an egg turner, automatic egg turner now. And the, the temperature has been a consistent like 101, 100, 101, like right there which is perfect, is what you want. <coughs> so I think we're gonna have a lot, a lot more baby chicks in one week. So next Wednesday or Thursday is when they should be hatching. Um, and those are all gonna go to DD5. All of them, that's why I'm doing it. So, but I've never owned a goat before. So this is gonna be a brand new fun experience for us, I think. We're gonna have a lot to learn with goats. But you know, I've looked at David's goats. I've known people with goats. Goats aren't that difficult. As yeah. long as they have a spot to be. Yeah. And shade and stuff like that, they're easy. Yeah, good infrastructure. Yeah. I think and in the next, uh, you know, couple of weeks, they're gonna become more and more comfortable with this space and with all of the people here and activities and the going on, right? Yeah. And um, they'll get used to this place. I'm actually, looking forward to putting them over by the pond and letting them go much mm. crazy over there because we all need to get our butts over there and do some more. I know, me and Wyatt were there yesterday. <laughs> were you? It out. Yeah. Is it big? It's not that bad. It's like, I don't know, almost my waist high in some spots, but not all, not all the way around. Okay. I was say, some of it's probably shriveling. Honestly, you can take on. down to the pond. I can probably just take the lawnmower. Yeah. Probably just burr, burr. Burr, burr. Hi, Luna. Won't be too bad. I see you so. escaped. Yeah, she keeps escaping. I'm going to have to go figure out what But there. Roxanne is going to be going to town today. You got to get some stuff. We need some feed. Yeah. I got some computer work I got to get done. Um, different things like that, guys. <laughs> so what do you guys think of the goats, though? Let us know what you think. I love them. They need a n he needs a name, though. I know. We'll think of a name for him. Because right now, I just keep calling him the goat, and I feel bad. But at the same time, you know. He's the goat. He's yeah. the goat. That's okay. <laughs> So just... He's a cool looking goat. He is. His he is cool. He's handsome. 
on? Hey, don't be chewing on my steps. I know how you goats roll. Right. I know how you guys roll. Don't be scared. Nothing about that. Little girl, you don't be scared either, little girl. I want to hear you guys make noise. You guys made lots of noise when you were babies, when I went and visited you guys. No, oh, they scream. They they do. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta see us walking back. Yeah. Bam, bam. <laughs> well, guys, stay safe today, guys. Stay motivated. Hope you guys have a wonderful Luna, Wednesday. Get out of there. Have, have a wonderful That's Wednesday, fine. guys. It's all right. Know, Luna's ruining all the flowers. Sorry. It's all right. Time to put our foot where it goes. Get out, get out of here. See her do it. Stay safe, guys. Stay motivated. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.